Hello students, uh, now I am again on this uh, topic nutrition in animals. This is the part 2 of this video. In the last video, that is in part 1, I have already discussed about uh, the process of digestion in buccal cavity, also fagus, stomach, pancreas, and liver, gallbladder, salivary gland, etc. So, uh, in this uh, video, I will cover up the entire the remaining part of the digestive system in human body and uh, some other topics we will discuss on this video after some time okay so coming to the very next part that is the small intestine uh, after after the digestion uh, in stomach the you can see that uh, this uh, by this tube or by this uh, part of the digestive system by this tube the this is connected through the small intestine okay uh, and then the uh, partly digested food that is uh, basically digested by stomach uh, liver and pancreas by their uh, 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 respective uh, juices and respective uh, gastric juices and bile juices that we already discussed uh, earlier and uh, then it uh, goes into small intestine where uh, in small intestine there is also a, 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 a secretion of juice that is called the intestinal juices okay this intestinal juices uh, uh, digest the partly digested uh, that uh, that is already partly digested by this part is already fully digested by this uh, by small intestine uh, by the intestinal juices here uh, the carbohydrate protein and fat basically these main things uh, these uh, these components get converted into the most simple uh, substance that is converted converted into glucose fat in fatty acid and protein is amino acid that is that is also absorbed by the small intestine and the uh, absorptions uh, occur uh, um, by the villi that is already present inside the wall of the small intestine uh, here you can see that uh, this are this is this is a small intestine basically, and uh, this is the this is the internal part of small intestine. So the food when gets here from the stomach, it then passes through these uh, tiny these pores, these types of. This is called the villi or uh, similar villas. So uh, what will this do? These or these these basically increase the surface area of the food that is passing through the small intestine. Uh, why? Because uh, if the when the food is uh, the surface area of the of the food component will become larger, then this fill fill really this fill us this part uh, will absorbs its all the materials all the food components that is essential for our body that is glucose fatty acid and amino acid are absorbed by this really uh, for greater surface area it, it can uh, absorb the total amount of these uh, these components okay uh, and uh, then it passes through the after the large intestine the small intestine it, it passes through this tube in the large intestine i will uh, what is large what is the uh, uh, function of large intestine i will tell you after some time okay so uh, mainly <coughs> uh, so absorption occur okay <coughs> after absorption uh, this small intestine basically this field has uh, here are many many blood vessels are uh, connected with this tissue with uh, field and uh, when the absorption is occurred, when glucose, fatty acid, amino acid are absorbed by the body, they are passes through these uh, blood vessels, uh, these blood vessels throughout the entire body, okay? Uh, and uh, entire body basically in our cells or organs, uh, and uh, they are they are for after uh, they get. Uh, burned or they get oxidized by our oxygen that we take in through breath that is another chapter that is that is the part of respiratory system okay what happens to this acids and this uh, these uh, components uh, what why uh, how these components are converted into energy uh, okay so that is another topic 
Okay, so uh, already these are gone through our body from uh, blood transported through our body. We know that blood is the main transporting uh, say organ, the transporting uh, uh, materials in our body. Okay, so uh, uh, okay, uh, one point another. Uh, so uh, absorption occur, and after the absorption. Uh, what will all when we eat food we can see that when we eat food the our digestive system breaks it in a, from breaks it complex component into the simpler component okay for easily digestion for easily absorption but after absorption the simpler component that is basically glucose fatty acid amino acid gets again complex get again recombined themselves or getting reacted with uh, themselves there are various reactions happen and they get again complex that this is the process called assimilation okay so what is basically assimilation after the absorption the simpler components of the food gets again complex complicated materials uh, because um, and 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 the cell and our body parts uh, that receives that um, receives the food component is basically complex in nature. Okay, food components are complex in nature. Okay, so amino acids is against protein. Okay, against in uh, again again in protein from protein component fatty acid can get in fats uh, or cholesterols as you can say glucose uh, gets again carbohydrates that are uh, stored or uh, in our body uh, in the various parts of our body. Okay, so this process is called assimilation. Okay. So uh, this is the physical total uh, small intestine uh, and small intestine is a very quiet but this is the uh, most lengthy uh, organ in our uh, body, in the human body. This is about 7.5 meter to 9 meter in length that is already in our this small belly. Okay? But these are already in recoiled, highly recoiled, uh, highly coiled in nature, as you can see in this diagram. Okay, but uh, if we cut it out and uh, measure its length, it will, uh, we can find that it, its length become 7.5 meter to 9 meter approximately. Okay, so the very next part is coming. That is the large intestine. Coming to the next next uh, part, that is the large intestine. After the after the absorptions occurs in the uh, absorptions and assimilation occurs in the uh, <coughs> small intestine. As you can see that the uh, remaining part, remaining the totally undigested food, but basic uh, totally undigested, percent undi uh, undigested food is, uh, uh, enters into the large intestine. The large intestine is basically uh, in uh, 1.5 meter in length. It is also coiled, but though not that highly required as small intestine. Uh, so here, in large intestine, what happens in large intestine? Large intestine. Uh, uh, in the large intestine, the the remaining absorptions of some salt and water are occurs are happened in the large intestine from the undigested food. Uh, no uh, food materials or no protein, fats, or amino acids. They are already absorbed absorbed in in the small intestine. Uh, some uh, parts of some uh, some uh, very few, very less amount of salt and water that is present already in the large intestine uh, already uh, in the um, food undigested food materials are uh, absorbed in this part in this large intestine. So uh, you can see that. Uh, that the food that we eat intake uh, 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 um, goes to various parts of our body part by part and the, the food is totally the, the total total food components total nutrients of the food materials ultimately absorbed by our body this is the main functions of our nothing can nothing is left nothing is left uh, when uh, uh, before uh, the after the after the ejection, what is ejection? I will discuss it. Okay. So total food material, total nutrients comp components that is uh, carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamin, minerals, uh, water, salt. This salt basically some uh, minerals. Okay. Uh, minerals and water. So basically the all the nutrient components that is uh, the six nutrient components are totally absorbed in the various parts of our body. 
Okay, mainly absorption occur in small intestine and large intestine, and these parts are uh, uh, responsible for the digestion of the food, partly digestion, and uh, most important part uh, that uh, the, uh, in small intestine, uh, digestion as well as absorption occur, and in large intestine, the remaining salt and water, a very few amount of salt and water is from the food material is being absorbed. After then, the large intestine is connected, uh, is uh, you can see that uh, this is the part of the intestine and goes through the part this is called rectum. Uh, in re rectum is basically uh, 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 um, after after the ejection, uh, before the ejection, uh, the, the very undigested, the totally undigested uh, food materials that are not any mold can be digested, that uh, those are stored for some time in rectum as a semi solid. Uh, substance that uh, which you can uh, call stool uh, okay and after after then uh, it is uh, being thrown out time to time uh, by the anus okay and this process the thrown thrown away of the undigested totally undigested food materials from our body is called the, the process is called that the ejection okay so here uh, I will discuss, I will uh, tell you about the one uh, more extra topic that is basically very extra topic. Here you can see, uh, the, here you can see a, a part from the large intestine. Here you can see this part, a small part that is uh, that is uh, ex extended from here so in the large intestine. This uh, is called the colon. This is called the colon. A large intestine basically divided in three types of colons. Uh, uh, they, that are there are topics that are very more details uh, in details discussion. Okay, so this is the colon. It's the part of the colon, and they are in here uh, one type of bacteria called E. coli or Escherichia coli lives here, and they also um, helps uh, in digestion, maybe in absorption of food materials in our body. But it is not necessary to be. Uh, to, uh, it is the not most uh, important part of our body. Colon. <coughs> okay. Uh, so these are the total uh, human digestive system. Uh, I will. Uh, I am already discussed. Uh, so first of all, uh, what are the process that happens? That is the intake of food through the buccal cavity, and already the, there is a salivary gland, gland uh, which secretes saliva. Uh, which uh, is responsible for the partly very few amount of digestion of carbohydrate uh, and the uh, experiment I have already discussed through it. Okay, after then the uh, the food materials uh, reaches to the stomach from by os oesophagus or food pipe, and then the, in the stomach, liver, and pancreas they are partly digested. Digested uh, the protein, fats, and uh, carbohydrates. Uh, all all the materials are digested by these parts. Uh, okay, and then uh, then it uh, then it passes uh, through this pipe and and uh, enters into the uh, small intestine. In small intestine, it uh, the absorption mainly occur, and there is also uh, some uh, digestion. Total full digestion occurs and absorptions occurs, uh, uh, and the food materials uh, by the villi uh, that is uh, that is present inside the wall of the small intestine, and the food materials that is the simplest materials uh, is taken or transported by the blood throughout our organs throughout the body okay then after the undigested after the after this absorption the under, remaining undigested food materials are uh, passes through uh, the large intestine where uh, salt and water of the remaining undigested uh, materials are absorbed and then after this it is uh, stored in rectum and then thrown out by the anus which is called the digestion okay so, so these are the total basic uh, basic uh, human uh, digestive system structure i hope uh, you all uh, you are now aware of it okay <clears throat> so now we will discuss about the digestive system of uh, animals mainly grass eating animals such as cows buffalo deer uh, etc that's a that's a herbivores okay mainly cows buffalo they are called ruminants. Why they are called ruminants? I will tell you. So basically, this is a rough diagram of the digestive system of a uh, ruminant of uh, grass-eating animals. Basically, you can uh, consider it uh, the digestive system of cow, suppose. 
So uh, these are the digestive system and these are the oesophagus. What is oesophagus? You already know. So this are, here, here is the mouth of the cow and uh, these are the oesophagus and the oesophagus is connected uh, to the part of the very large part. This is called the rumen and uh, then the rumen and this is this is the part, these are the parts of the, which is called the stomach. These are the calcium and these are the small intestine and these are the large intestine and basically these are the nerves. Okay, so what is rumen? This is the extra body organ, uh, digestive organ present in uh, this uh, types of gastric animals. Uh, <coughs> you uh, already uh, know, by already you can see, you see that uh, you have seen uh, that when cows or buffaloes uh, eat grass, they grass they already very uh, they swallow the grass very fast and in the eat, okay? Then grab it. Basically, they are grabbing the trash, and the trash is temporarily stored at this part, which is called the rumen, okay? Body parts that store the smaller grass, and this trash, when uh, stored in the rumen, is digested, partly digested, and and this digested uh, grass, swallowed digested grass, is called the cud, okay? Uh, after some time, uh, when uh, the rumen is basically full or the uh, cow or buffalo are not uh, interested to eat, then uh, they go down somewhere, then they go, go down somewhere and sit and after <coughs> then you, you have seen that they are already swallowing the mouth. What, what, what does, does that mean? What will happen at that time? That time, the swallowed grass that had already taken by the animals after when eating are stored in this part, in, in the part rumen, are returned back to their mouth. Okay? This process is called rumination. Okay, rumination uh, is what rumination means. Uh, first point, first of all, uh, the uh, crash eating animals are basically these animals are known as ruminants. Ruminants means the animals which in uh, in in uh, the uh, in in which uh, body parts in the these animals uh, in digestive system rumi rumination occurs. Rumination occurs in the in those di those uh, animals are called ruminants. Okay, so basically, grass-eating animals, herbivores, cows, buffalo, etc. So now, <coughs> uh, first process, they swallowed the grass very quickly and grabbed it and stored it inside the rumen. Okay, after eating, then they sit somewhere and uh, that rumen, uh, that, that, that the swallowed grass, that is uh, partially digested uh, when, when stored in the rumen, uh, at that time partially digested and uh, formed uh, a digestive uh, material which is called the cut. Uh, okay, then again, that cut is returned back to their mouth and they are swallowing deeply swallowing or chewing that actually swallowing uh, with time. So this process, the returning process of the cut from rumen to the mouth of the ruminants are called, is called the rumination and the animals in, uh, in rumination process of cuts is called uh, ruminants. Coming to the very uh, coming to the very next topic, <coughs> that is the very uh, basically last topics of this chapter. That is the digestion in amoeba. So what is amoeba? Amoeba is basically a single uh, cell microorganism. Um, they, uh, they have only one cell, and uh, these are the cell membranes. These are the uh, cell membranes. These are the nucleus of uh, the cell, and uh, the liquid in present inside the cell membrane inside basically inside the cell is called the cytoplasm uh, i am uh, this is the diagram this is the rough diagram of an amoeba of uh, how they feed in and the digestion occurs so amoeba has us uh, sometimes of basically these are called pseudopodia okay this uh, as a structure of uh, all feet types of structure. Okay, this helps in uh, helps amoeba in locomotion or movement. And uh, basically, what happens? This is 
suppose this is an amoeba. So basically what happens, it, pseudopodia is nothing but the cell membrane itself uh, in, in, which, in, in that direction the amoeba is uh, trying to move on. So it basically uh, do nothing but expand its cell towards that direction. So suppose the the an amoeba is trying to move towards this this direction. So this is an amoeba. Okay, what is the locomotion of amoeba? I am trying to show you. So oh, uh, uh, it wants to move towards this direction. So what what will he do? He just nothing. He expands his cell membrane towards this position. Towards this position, and uh, automatically the surface of this backward position becomes less. This is expanded, so this is less. And uh, for this, uh, in in this process, after after this um, this type of movement, it it move forward some some distance. This is the mainly. This is. Called pseudopodia. So see, this is a false peep. Basically, nothing but its cell membrane itself. Uh, it also uh, it, it, uh, it it helps in uh, uh, its locomotion uh, or movement, and it also helps in engulfing its food. Uh, its food are basically are other microorganisms that are smaller than its. It. Okay. So these are the food, and how an amoeba is uh, trying to, uh, is uh, the di is uh, feed in the substance is shown here so uh, when it senses an another microorganism or its food uh, its pseudopodia or its false feet becomes the, in this position around it, it is around this the, uh, this body okay and uh, and then it uh, it basically covers the whole uh, microorganisms and uh, the microorganisms get trapped inside this this is called the vacuole. Okay, this is called the vacuole. This is called the vacuole. Vacuole. Okay. Ah, and the uh, microorganisms get uh, easily trapped by this vacuole, and then it. Uh, this is already joined. Okay. So when this is joined, the microorganism gets uh, inserted by the body of the amoeba, and then uh, here the cytoplasm and another. Uh, substance, ribosomes and lysosomes, uh, uh, various substances in the inside the cell uh, breaks it into the simpler substances and takes uh, and absorbs its food materials and then uh, again it uh, is thrown away at the same process it is taken or engulfs uh, cell in, at the same way it is thrown away from its body. Uh, from same here you can see uh, the back wall where the body, uh, where the uh, body uh, or the undigested part or the uh, food materials, undigested food part is <coughs> thrown away from this body. This is the piece of the back pool and here the food materials is thrown out from its body. So it is the basic uh, digestion process of amoeba. It is a very simpler substance. It can be found in pond water or some air where it is a single substance microorganism, uh, single cell prokaryotic cell okay so uh, these are all the topics of this uh, nutrition and animals this uh, chapter of seventh standard uh, very important chapter uh, i hope you will enjoy this video um, and uh, i am i hope that i what i am trying to uh, discuss you about i have already discussed you about you already uh, understand uh, my video, understand the uh, various process, various things of this nutrition cell, this chapter. So, okay, good luck.